And um, so backup document examples for materials and equipment. So these are for um, paid receipts. Let me know if I understood that bullet correctly. Um, so if, if you purchase something online, it should show that it's shipped. Um, and yeah, so if you have a receipt, that means that you, you've paid for it already. So we really want you to um, save all of your receipts so that you can provide that to us as backup documentation. Um, Next slide. Um, for travel costs, also under that will also be listed under materials and equipment. Um, for necessary car travel, and this is um, travel for your employees because I think subcontractors that should be included in their subcontract invoice. Is that correct? We just need travel for the direct grantee broken out. Okay, so this is for personal personal vehicle mileage reimbursement rate. Um, you know, for example, um, from July to December, our reimbursement rate is, and I think this is this is correct still, is um, is sixty two point five cents per mile. And you need to provide a record of how many miles you traveled for your work. Um, and you can also include your gas. So um, you would need to provide a receipt um, for your, sorry, you can't include gas. It's either uh, personal, personal vehicle mileage, or if you have a rental car, the cost of the rental car plus the gas. So the personal, personal vehicle mileage is supposed to reimburse you for wear and tear of your vehicle and the gas. <laughs> um, but if you want to charge for, you know, uh, use a rental, then you need to provide the rental costs and gas that you've pumped into the car as a receipt. Uh, and this is an example of how you can report on um, travel. Uh, and this is an example of mileage. And then um, on the right here, I think this is an example of this ride share trip charge for a rental. Yes, this is a rental. Um, so you can um, we can reimburse you for any rental that you've done for travel. Next slide, please. All right, also materials and expenses and also travel costs. We can pay for bus rental or transportation. Say that you are transporting people to an outreach event. Um, we just need an invoice from that, that um, rental. Um, and then also any parking fees and tolls um, for um, getting from point A to B, save that receipt and we can reimburse that as well. Um, what if we, the question from Teresa is, what if we provide travel stipends for community partners? Do we need invoices for each stipend? I think, um, sorry, <laughs> others can jump, jump in um, if, if you know better, but um, for stipends, I think we, you need to show that you've paid the stipend in some way. Um, is that right, Mary? I saw you. Uh, yeah, I just unmuted. I think, yeah, and I would um, not describe it as a travel stipend because the state is so uptight about what we reimburse for travel and not travel and less uptight about reimbursing stipends for people's time and participation. So it may be fine. It, 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 even if it is kind of a travel stipend, I would just describe it as like a more of a participation stipend. And then, yeah, Erica's right. Just like document that it can be a very, yeah, just document that you've paid it. So some kind of invoice. Um, yeah, and exactly. Hold in the travel cost with the participation stipend. It's actually a good way to do it. Great, good question. Uh, next slide, please. 